Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning and praise the Lord viewers. We welcome to our episode as we continue to share the word of God. My name is Reverend Elpas Bire. It's a delight to see you once again here. I want to share with us about do not declare victory too soon. And I'll be reading from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, all the way to verse 20. I will read everything. But I, will, I want to actually bring us to attention that we are in a spiritual warfare. Every day we wake up, we are combated in a warfare. And now I, I want to tell us that when things are good, pray. When things are bad, pray. When things seem to be normal, pray. Because it's a warfare. Do not sit back and think that we are okay. And I was alluding to the fact that I have been unwell in the past one week. And I saw what seemed to be like sometimes we don't take it for granted when we are okay. So and every, today I say woke up in the morning to pray and do a devotion. Um, and later on, um, I had shared with some children uh, in the PPI in the previous day. I found out that it is quite refreshing that you're okay and you're sharing with people who are okay the word of God. And it, I was feeling energetic. I should leave to preach. I saw it. Let's not declare victory too soon. We are living and we are okay in order to share and do the word of God. What does the Bible say in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10? Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of the evil, or, uh, evil in the heavenly realms. God does not want us to sit. Jesus came lived with us, went to heaven. He continued to ask us every day that we look unto him. But many of us have actually declared victory. Our churches are full. We have achieved what we wanted to achieve this year. I want to tell you, do not declare victory too soon. We are still in the spiritual battle. We are fighting a warfare which is in the spiritual realm. Some of it may be manifested in the physical that some of us you see getting unwell and waking up in another day uh, and saying, ah, we can sense. But there are many that you may not be able to say, God wants us to remain a lot in his things. So one of the things for you to remain, uh, to not to declare victory is to be a lot, a lot every day, doing the right thing and saying, God, you are with me. Another thing is to be able to read his word Read and see the mind of God. We fail to read the mind of God and do our own things. And that is why sometimes we have declared victory too soon. Many are not evangelizing. Many of us are not seeing God's priorities as God puts them. So God is inviting us that we read his word. And another thing is to engage and be together in a fellowship, looking into him. Because this is not a flesh or blood. In a fellowship, we are able to pray for one another. The Bible says that we um, be two are better than uh, 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 one. If they sleep together, they will be warm. God is asking us to keep and be able to be spiritually alert because we are in the warfare. I declare to you this morning where you are, that you may need to find out a partner or a person you call a friend. They can count on when others are not there to stand with you in prayer, to stand with you when you're weak in the name of Jesus. God is asking you. It's a spiritual warfare. And I was uh, reflecting on one of our friends who write on the social media and he said, if we knew that power matters, then we will not pray less. We will pray more. As much as we share with you a five-minute prayer devotion every day, I want to invite you that the spiritual real and the spiritual battle is real. Let's engage more in the fierce battle by praying every day and declaring victory. I know some of us are still enjoying the warmth of not going for cases because of COVID and its, its total effect on us. Please take time even when you are alone and do a kesha and see God and pray and fast because God has not just let us. 
We are in a spiritual warfare. We are spiritual being. Everything that we see in the physical, the first of all, happen in the spiritual. So I encourage us this morning as we get into the day, let's be alert and seek to do his will and be engaged in this spiritual battle by doing what is right. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. May your word be a light to us, guiding us, O oh God. May you make our spiritual antennae be connected to you, that we will be able to know that we are in a spiritual battle, walking with us and blessing us. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.